Rochelle Humes is a woman of many talents. She's a pop princess, presenter, author, and beauty entrepreneur. She's even been an emergency loose woman. Remember when this happened? We have uh, managed to scoop up a reserve for poor Carol, who's not feeling very well this afternoon. We've gone and nabbed Rochelle from this morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See, this is the problem when we're all next door to each other. We are all next door. Do you know you what? You've a lovely lunch yeah. plan. Yeah. Do you, you know are. what? You've got me out the school run, so I don't mind. <laughs> well, she's back today for a good old catch up on being pregnant through a pandemic, writing another children's book, and how her and Marvin juggle living and working together. Hi, Rochelle. Hello, ladies. Oh, look at you. You look so well. Do I? Oh, yes. my goodness. I've got a hair mask in. I love this working from home stuff. It's brilliant. <laughs> and how are you feeling? How many weeks are you now? I am... Oh, know, it's, it's so bad, isn't it? It's what happens when it's your third child. I've got, like, eight weeks left. Just over eight weeks left. Eight weeks left. Oh, so quite far yeah. gone. And how's it been? Because, of course, it's been the heat wave and we've been locked in. And how are you handling I it? I've never done a summer pregnancy before. I mean, it's much to be desired. The heat and being pregnant and... A bump isn't the cutest thing. Um, but yeah, being pregnant in lockdown has been a bit of a funny one because it kind of, it's been sort of bittersweet, really. I suppose mm. having two kids off of school <laughs> has been lovely <laughs> and um, not been able to escape. But I think, I think it's what's been nice is I've never had, I've never been pregnant before where I can just sort of slow down and just yeah. be at home. So that's actually been quite nice, really, especially in the sicky phase. So yeah. Mm. Um, nice. Rochelle, this is a different pregnancy again for you because you're having a boy. How do you and Marvin feel about that news? I, I, I'll be honest with you, Brenda. Every time I go for a scan, <clears> I get them to double check his bits because I'm just <laughs> not. Who hey, Marvin's that I baby? Make boys. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 honestly, I'm like, I thought we were just girl parents, and that was us. So I kind of. I'm really, the girls are really excited. I mean, he doesn't stand a chance in this house, bless him. I could just see his future already being ruled. Um, oh. I think Marv, Marvin's sort of like, he does like being the man of the house. As much as he's excited to have a boy, I think that he likes to feel quite needed, really. Uh, so there might be a bit of jealousy there when the old boy comes along. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> he won't, he'll love it. And how is it... Um, I mean, you do so much, Rochelle. I mean, th this must be quite a good break for you. I mean, you do your, you've written all your books, mm -hmm. you know, you're pregnant. You've also filmed a new series um, of the Hit, Hit List. Yeah. Hit List. I mean, you did that in five days or something, a whole series. I know. We did, we shot 14 episodes in five days, which wow. was quite a lot. Um, but brilliant. It's quite, I quite like to get it all done and then... Before you know it, you're you're promoting it, which is which is strange. But um, yeah, it's a bit. Do you know what? I kind of I'm a glutton for punishment because I love being busy. Like I don't take maternity leave well. I sort of you know I'm, I'm there and I and I love it and I love being at home and in that bubble. But I kind of am always thinking about the next thing and I just I, I feel so lucky. I'd, probably the same as you, ladies. You know that we get to do exactly what we love. And we I, do, I just... but we don't do it with our partners, Rochelle. Mm. That's the well, thing. I, I, want to... I want to ask you, because when you've got the stresses of a pregnancy, you've got two young children and all the chaos that that brings, sometimes I think some mums would think, I can't wait to walk out the door and leave the lot of you, but then you take the big one with you. I know, the worst one. <laughs> I take the worst <laughs> one with me. Um, I, do you know what? I think it's it's sometimes it's really nice because... We may not have seen each other a lot or it's literally just been, a, you know what it's like when you've got young ones, all about the kids. So it is quite nice to sort of get away together for a few days. Although when you have those little those little things about, you know, who was supposed to put the bins out today, all that sort of stuff, that does travel with you in the car on the way to work. <laughs> I want to ask but you about... Back, sorry. Right. I want to ask you about your children's books. Have you found any time to do any more writing while you've been in lockdown? Um, lockdown has been like really productive for that actually Janet and I think um, my second children's book is out at the minute and I kind of I'd obviously I'd written that before lockdown and it's it's, been, it's always quite a nice I write children's picture books which I love and 
my kids really get involved and yeah it's been really it's been quite good concentrated time to sort of think about although this one's out now think about you know the next book which has been which is really nice isn't it? mega magic series that, that's right so this one is is um all about settling kids into that new school year which can be really sort of you find you, you take it for granted actually because kids adapt they do adapt really well but they're like anxieties about starting a new class and meeting a new teacher and you know perhaps leaving old friends behind so I started that I wrote it probably you know just under two years ago but I suppose now it's sort of taken on a whole new meaning and is even more poignant than it was before because our kids have We've got so used to just being at home yeah. and I think going back to school in September god willing um <laughs> will be will be you know a really a, a big thing for them so how, I kind how of how do you feel yeah, about yours going back to school Rochelle um first of all I was really sort of apprehensive about it but now I really think mine might you know I can't talk for everyone else's children but mine have really missed it's the routine and I think yeah. we need that bit of structure now I've tried I've tr you try at home we've all tried to be a teacher which was very interesting um but yeah I think I just they, I think they need that they need their friends I think mentally as well my my whole thing was if we can get the kids through this whole pandemic and they're okay mentally then we'll pick up the schoolwork on the other side yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean absolutely so, yeah. uh, now Rochelle very quickly tell us about this campaign you're doing called change the story yeah, so I teamed up um, with a uh, little box of books and essentially what we were doing, we were crowdfunding and we wanted to raise £50,000 to put um, just over 10,000 diverse books into kids' schools up and down the country. And we, we've hit that. We're now at 57,000, which is absolutely brilliant. And yeah, just to change the story and change what a school bookshelf looks like, you know, I've when when I was younger, we were sort of reading Biff and Chip, and my mm. kids are still bringing them home now. And I'm kind of like, we, you know, We've kids need to recognise the themselves. Yeah. That's not just a race thing; that's a disability mm. thing. Yeah. You know, if you if you don't, if kids you, you you start them reading so so young, and if they don't see themselves yeah. or find that interesting and recognise themselves, it's that old thing where you can't be what you can't see. And I well, really you know believe what? that. So. Yeah, Rochelle, I'm so it's passionate about that. It's a fantastic campaign. Good luck with all of that. And please, please, when that little boy is born, bring him in to see us here at Loose Women, to all his mother hens. <laughs> I might have to. Yeah, you can bring I might Marvin have to, as well. I've no idea what to do with the boy, so you might have to help me. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll give you a clue. Yeah. Thanks again, Rochelle, for joining us. Good luck with everything.